I've been joined now by Omar Yagi, Professor of Chemistry at Berkeley in California and also a plenary speaker here at UChem's Congress. Welcome. Thank you. Can I just start by asking you briefly about your area of research? Yes, we work on reticular chemistry, which is linking molecules together to make frameworks. These are organic and inorganic molecules to make metal organic frameworks, or organic molecules linked together to make covalent organic frameworks. Uh, we call them MOFs and COFs. And these are porous materials that have very high internal surface area that ranges from 2,000 to all the way up to 7,000 meters square per gram. And what are some of the applications then of those materials? Yeah, so this high surface area make them ideally suited for compacting gases within the pores. So the gases that we have been working on is hydrogen for uh, fueling automobiles, natural gas also for automobiles. So for example, if you use a MOF in, a, in an automobile fuel tank, um, it, you can store three times the amount of natural gas as you would without the MOF and therefore the automobile can travel three times the distance before you have to refuel. So this is a very interesting result that is going all the way to, to applications. Uh, one of the recent applications that we have discovered is trapping water from, from the atmosphere, from low humidity atmosphere, uh, so that you can provide drinking water, especially in arid regions of the world. I was about to ask, what's the most exciting project you're working on at the moment? It sounds like that very much yeah, so extraordinary. I think, yeah, water uh, is probably one of the biggest challenges facing our planet. There are many, many areas of the world uh, live in uh, uh, water-stressed uh, regions, and uh, uh, some may have water, but it's not clean. Others uh, have lack of water because of the arid climate. So these moths um, can trap water from low humidity and we have shown this to work in the lab as well as uh, at Berkeley we have designed a prototype that works in the desert. We demonstrated that you can actually use the moths in the desert to collect drinking water. How did the UChem's Congress audience for your plenary talk compare to your student audience at Berkeley? Well, I think uh, this was a lot of fun. This room was, uh, it was a big room filled with, with people, hundreds, uh, maybe over a thousand, a thousand attendees. So it was, it was quite exciting. And what are you looking forward to for the rest of uh, Congress? Yeah, so um, I'm meeting friends that I already know, discuss with them about their latest work, but, uh, but also new friends that I have not uh, met, and, and of course, students who are um, asking me a lot of questions I'm about sure our, our chemistry. Yeah, it's lovely, exciting. Yeah. Lovely to talk to you and enjoy yeah. the UChem's Congress. Thank, Thank you. you so much.